you, um, let me just first all day to get this working. I'm using this new capture software called EasyVid, and it just hasn't been working. My computer's been being slow as well, and it all just hasn't been helping. It's been stressing me out. Anyway, let me get on with what I wanted to show you guys. Hello YouTube, today I just wanted to explain to you guys all the cool stuff that is going to be coming for us with the new Retaliation DLC. To start, I wanted to talk about the new characters in Mass Effect 3. Um, so far, I know of only like the two main classes, the Turing and Havoc Soldier. Um, I had a picture of him, but I kind of lost it. Anyway, I think yeah, I think this was him, because in the trailer I saw a Turing-like character doing the jump like this. I f at first, I thought it was a human because of the body shape. You may think it was a human instead of a Turian, but the feet they kind of gave it away that it's not a human. Anyway, I think this move has a similar effect to the N7 Destroyer's um, ground, pash, um, ground smash move, but I think it's going to be like a big, actually, same radius, more damage, but and easier to use. Um, anyway, I hear that the Turian Havoc Soldier has a jetpack now, so he might be a bit more agile than usual, because before you couldn't dodge anything with a Turian. You just had to walk around and he was a bit clumsy like a Krogan. So now I think it's going to be a bit more agile, which could be a big improvement. Um, and as much as the Turian Ghost Infiltrate up, he's probably just going to infiltrate things. I don't really know much about him. There's going to be three new collector weapons, um, such as the Collector SMG, Sniper, and Assault Rifle. Right here you can see a picture of the Assault Rifle. To me it just looks like a bit of a tree, but... um. From what I know, it has. I think it has a good fire rate, high damage. I mean, not high damage, average damage, but a good fire rate and high accuracy. I think it's going to be an assault rifle that I probably like. And I heard that there was a, a special promotional version of it, and I think they probably might have improved from that. I heard a lot of people saying that it wasn't that good. And as far as the sniper goes, I think it's amazing. I've seen it being used on the trailer, and it looks like some sort of valiant, but just. I think it may fire a bit slower than the Valiant, reload a bit slower than the Valiant, but it deals a ton more damage than the Valiant, which is a good trade-off in the end. <coughs> and since I don't really want to get up close to most of the collectors, which I'm going to be talking to you about in a moment, I think snipers would be a good alternative. I don't really know anything about the Collector SMG, but it's in my in my opinion, I think it's going to be like the Geth Plasma SMG. I'm also going to be excited about the three new ammo types, starting with explosive rounds. Now, f um, from my investigations, <laughs> I think this is going to be similar to concussive shots, and I think it may be able to vaporize shields and barriers in a similar way to it. Phasic rounds are going to be introduced. If you play Mass Effect 1, you would know that phasic rounds penetrate directly through shields and instantly target health but a less damage. It may be an alright trade off if you know what you're fighting. Like Geth, since they have high shields and low health, it would be a huge advantage to be able to penetrate straight through the um the shields and go straight to what's underneath. And lastly, drill rounds, I think they may be similar to armor piercing since they say drill like maybe drill through armor. I think it might have some knockback effect as well because like it might be a bit heavy type of ammo. I'm happy to see five new gear being dropped onto the battlefield that could actually be worthwhile. Like some of the gear out right now is just ridiculous and like I don't really think like a five percent weapon damage bonus is that interesting. Um to start I wanted to talk about the responder load responder loadout. I think it was supposed to be spelt responder, but maybe it had a spelling mistake. From what I have learned it increases the duration of survival mode, the state where you spam A to stay alive and also increases the speed at which you can revive your teammates, which would be essential on platinum runs. I expect the assault loadout to probably be a weapon damage bonus, reload speed or clip capacity, since it's assault that is probably what soldiers would need and yeah. Armor compartments I think it would be thermal clip capacity and maybe extra defense damage resistance. And lastly, Medigel Transmitter. I think this one is probably going to be the most unique and interesting, and I think it might allow you to revive your teammates from a distance. 
To conclude my video, I wanted to quickly discuss the new collector enemy starting with the Abomination. I'm really excited about this guy, even though some people may not be excited. He is an explosive variant of the husk, which pretty much interests me because I have a theory that if he's close to other enemies, he may be able to self-destruct onto them and deal moderate damage to them, which could really help because husks are common, you'll see a lot of them running around and you can really deal a bit of damage on your enemies before they even get close enough to do anything to you. But the worst thing about the um, Abomination, I don't really know what you're supposed to do because I've seen him grab a guy in the trailer and if you head, stop, head stomp him similar to the way you head stomp the husk, it's not going to be that good because he's going to explode all over you which which will just probably lead to your death. And anyway, moving on, I want to talk about the Praetorian. He's probably going to be the biggest, scariest, baddest boss out there. The main reason for this is a move it has called Death Choir. You can see it here, it has a lot of heads inside its abdomen, I think those are husks, and it's radiating with energy. The, um, it has strong sheet, strong armor and strong barriers, and it has a particle beam attack, which is I think it's going to be similar strength to like a nemesis sniper rifle, and it can go all the way across the map super accurate, and just a few seconds of exposure will probably wipe out your teammates. And since the Praetorian can fly around, it could easily flank or outmaneuver you. So you'd probably have to stay inside. And I'm not sure if it would be able to get inside. The main thing that worries me is the move it has called Death Choir. Which could probably um, make it a lot harder to kill this guy. Because Death Choir, what it does, once you drain the um, Praetorian's barriers and you get down to armor. If you deal sufficient damage to the armor, the barriers will just death choir and the move itself can actually kill you as well which will make the game pretty difficult anyway moving on now I'm about to end video and I just wanted to talk about the mainline collector troops I think they're going to be similar strength to Marauder which is pretty bad for just the average troop because um, I've seen in the trailer them have similar um, they have shields or barriers I'm not sure I think it's barriers they have but I know they have one or the other which could make it pretty hard to just kill the mainline troops and another thing I'm worried about is Harbinger the thing that controls the collectors like it says assuming direct control in Mass Effect 2 sometimes and they gain a huge damage bonus when that happens and I've seen it on the trail I've seen the orange glow of being assumed of being controlled on stuff like Praetorians and imagine that damage um, bonus on something already so powerful it, it could fatally be it could just be lethal and you're probably gonna die if it happens anyway lastly I want to talk about the ski on I don't think it's considered as much a threat of among other people but towards me I think it's probably one of the most deadly things in the battlefield this is because it's basically a bunch of husk crushed into mush and molded around a mass effect gun it's a bit like the guns a bit like the acolyte but in a much stronger form that fires shock waves that cascade across the battlefield and through objects and deal a ton of damage to you. And normally they travel in pairs, so like if you dodge one, the other one will hit you. And it deals so much damage in it. And the worst part about it is it can go straight through cover. So you'll probably have to roll away from cover and get yourself out in the open, which could lead to your death. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and go on guys. All of you go on Mass Effect, save up your credits and tomorrow we will have the collectors to face. I hope you enjoyed this video and goodbye.